welcome back to the shooting channel and today we've got another second hand gun we've got the Bretta DT10 In Beretta DT10, the DT stands for detachable trigger. The Beretta DT10 became famous when Richard Folds won his gold Olympic double trap gold medal in Sydney 2000. And he won it with the trap DT10. Okay, I know, I know Richard's one was custom built, but generally the DT10s were built and designed around Richard winning that gold medal in, in Sydney in Sydney 2000. So I thought I would take one out and just have a shoot with it. I have to say I thought I shot this and I'm going to shoot a little bit here with it and I'm going to shoot a little bit on the DTL with it just to see what it's like and have one of my reviews of the DT10. Thing. I'll take it out. Again, nice big case. Can fit two sets of barrels in it if you want it to. The one thing they do do is the chokes, so you can see what they are without taking them out. They do tell you what they are on here. It comes with seven chokes, so it comes with a plenty of chokes. It comes with a load of spares, spare triggers spare internals in there as well comes with a few of those so again you're paying for that money because it comes with all these extras this particular one is an adjustable cone and again richard won his sydney tick 2000 gold with it again a lot of these manufacturers i know i know richard it does not shoot at a bretta now he shoots caesar greeny but bretta dominated the trap world at that time bretta of Pratsy, um, they did dominate it. A lot of people, once they've won it, once they've gone away from it, a lot of people do tend to go to those things. A lot of people, when they've got older, they tend to go to Cesar Guarini or Rosini. But actually, when you're younger, you want the best tools you can get for winning that gold medal. And that's why a lot of Marukus, Berettas, Parazis are in those. And Richard happened to, do, happened to win his gold in Sydney, and it was a fantastic win, fantastic games and it did he did absolutely fantastically for our sport at that time the one thing that i can remember with this even without shooting it when i've shot a dt10 in the past they do tend to not have a great deal of recoil as well again they've got the traditional bretta recoil pad they're quite big in the palm swell they're in the in the pistol grip there so they come down below the stock trap forend Ventilated barrels, ventilated ribs, external chokes, comes with plenty of chokes, mid bead, end bead. It's a very well balanced, balances on the hinge pin quite nicely to be fair. The rib is tapered, 10 mil to 7 mil, 10 mil here, 7 mil here. Let's shoot it and let's see what, um, what it sounds like. I've just cut into this video to give you a Swapcom, an Oxford Gun Company giveaway to celebrate hitting 30,000 subscribers on this channel and this is a big thank you to you the viewers and my subscribers and to say thank you we are going to give you a set of swap comms, a shooting channel t-shirt and a lesson at the Oxford Gun Company. The Oxford Gun Company is celebrating its 40th year in business this year. Doug Florent and Shirley Florent that started the Oxford Gun Company, they worked at a shooting schools before this started. He started his career in a shooting school before. What was the shooting school that Doug Florent started at before 
the Oxford Gun Company and London Gun Company was born? Was it A, Ian Coley's? Was it B, EJ Churchill's? Was it C, West London Shooting School? Please comment below on the correct answer and we will be giving, in two weeks time, the shooting lessons, the Swapcom and the T-shirt to one of you lucky viewers. Thank you for watching and we'll nip back to the film. Oh. Really nice, well balanced. Again, not a great deal of recoil. If you look at the way they've designed it, it is slightly different design to anything else you see. When you push it across, you get the lever come out the side rather than at the top there to take it open. So that I'll just show you a little bit closer. Right, now what we're gonna do, let's go and shoot a little bit of DTL with it. And I'll show you how it shoots DTL. I've come to the DTL range. Just going to shoot a little bit of trap with my Bretta DT10 trap gun. Let's see what it's like. Whoa! Whoa! One thing I will say with it is, again, it's designed for this, and I can see why Richard picked one of these for shooting double trap, is it's very, very smooth, and the triggers are really smooth. It's very smooth from going from the first shot to the second shot. It's just a really well-balanced, smooth gun. So that's one tick in the box. And when you close it up, everything just closes up gently, nicely, and that's, that's, that's what you want from a gun. I would say, I know it's a trap gun, I personally shoot it better at trap than I do at sporting. That's my opinion, a lot of people do like these for sporting. Bull! And that is my review of the Bretta DT10. Shot a bit of sporting with it, a bit of DTL with it. I would say it's a great, well-balanced gun. If you're looking for a gun, and you can pick these up secondhand, you can pick these up for a couple of grand, 3,000 pounds. I would say the new ones, I think, they've, I think they're really expensive. They're over 10 grand now. But if you can pick one of these old ones up, for a couple of three thousand pounds, three and a half grand, I think you've got yourself a bit of a deal there. So have a look on Gun Trader, see what you think. If anyone's got any information about the Bretta DT10, please comment below. I hope you like this program. Please like and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.